guys you're watching my real life vlogs welcome back welcome back so i just got back from the gym yep i was working out in these braids i did them so like i told you guys in my last vlog that i wanted to braid my hair i went ahead and did that thing okay they're really really long y'all and i really like the way they turned out okay really really love and i don't even know how long this took me because i had to keep on stopping you know on and off um throughout the day so i would say probably 10 to 12 hours to do this. And the thing that takes the most time is getting the curly hairs up and down the braid because you have to do two or three per braid. So that's what takes the most time. And then also they're super long because my hair is long, right? So I have to braid past my hair in order to make it work. So I really like the way they turned out. I'm still kind of like low-key perspiring a little bit because I went to the gym this morning and it was a really good one. And uh, I'm, I feel like I'm still burning calories like after the fact. Okay, so I definitely just got out of the shower, right? and did my whole like skincare routine and all that but before i leave out i'm gonna put on my sunscreen i want to show you guys this new one that i'm trying that i'm like obsessing over <laughs> it's this one it's by a company called agency basically it's like a subscription so you go on the website you fill out a questionnaire about your skin and at that point it pretty much prescribes to you like a skincare routine so they provide you with various products to address the concerns that you said that you had in the questionnaire this is the one that stood out to me the most it's called silk screen and it's a tinted spf product now i've tried tinted moisturizers before not sunscreens i was very excited to give this a try first things first y'all look at that color look at that color that's pretty good okay that's 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 pretty good so that's how it looks when you rub it in okay i'm just going to apply it now it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but here's the thing i kind of want that when it comes to sunscreen right so it's going to give me that nice tint it blends in pretty good there's a smell right you can smell the ingredients <laughs> working in there but i like it being a little tinted on me a little bit darker just because it that's to me fighting against any kind of flashback or any kind of like residue. The darker the better when it comes to like sunscreen residue. So I'm not that mad at it. And then again, you know, once you really rub it in, it kind of just disappears anyway. But y'all, when I tell you that there is no residue, it don't even look like I had anything on my face. So I'm pretty pleased with this product. I am like obsessed with it. It's so good. And um, if you guys want to investigate more, I would highly recommend checking out um, Agency, just like going on the website. I'll put the link below if y'all need it. And just check it out because I really love this. And some of the other products are quite nice as well. But that one stood out to me particularly because I'm like, it's about damn time, you know? A sunscreen that has a tint that actually works for my skin tone. Like not some weird tint, but like one that actually blends in and you can't really see it. I'm loving it. So yeah, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm just drinking this thing because I know I need something, but I really don't have an appetite. Let me show you guys the hair that I used before I forget. <laughs> this is my braiding hair stash. <laughs> this is my stash y'all I go here first before I buy anything from the stores but yeah this is the hair I used so it's the model model master mix Italian curl in 30 inches and you just cut it off the weft and I'm able to kind of just use the little strands and you really only need one bag of this because the strands are gonna be so small and thin you only need one bag so yeah this is the hair that's like a mix between human and synthetic and I just really like dealing with it because it's like super long and it's cheap I think it's like $14 for this one bag and uh, I got the color too and then just regular braiding hair Like when I used human hair the last time, I really liked the outcome. It was super cute, but the hair kept slipping out of the braid because it's just so slippery and so fine. And so I was like, I really hate it having to clean up hair all the time, all over the house. So I wanted to try it with the master mix hair. I know it's gonna tangle, like I'm prepared for that, but I felt like that's the trade off from just like cleaning up hair everywhere i'm talking about in the shower in the bed um in the dining room chairs like just wherever you are there's hair that's going to be coming out this stuff because it has a synthetic component it's like it has better staying power in the braid yeah and plus the fact that it's like super long i can like fold it and like double it onto the braid so it's less of a chance of it coming out versus that human hair that you have to put it in a certain way and it's like it's just so easy to pull it right out so a few little things that i am trying to get done today like some errands and stuff that i need to run let me show y'all so this 
light fixture in our closet, y'all. Most of the bulbs on this thing are out and or not functioning at full brightness. So these are some kind of like little vintage bulbs. And you know, like see this one is like fully lit and then you have this one that's like half lit and then you have like these ones that are like practically out. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find a solution to this because this is kind of annoying. And I already took one of the bulbs out because I'm gonna take that with me to match it up. I don't know if y'all remember when me and my cousin put that light fixture in and it's a really pretty one. I really like it, but it's like, can the bulbs just not be acting all weird, you know? Okay, let me show you guys the other project. So it's a Menards kind of morning. Also these lights, right? I bought bulbs, bulbs for them and then I realized they were only 40 watts and I really want 60 in here to make it a little bit brighter. So I'm just gonna take those back and exchange them. And that's pretty much it. So uh, come with me to Menards if you dare. <laughs> you checking yourself out. You see yourself. You see yourself. So look y'all, these are the bulbs I have to take back to Menards. So I need 14 of them for that closet light. And I got this 24 pack, but look, it's got like that white coating on it, right? And I can't really do that. I didn't realize that when I got it. See, this is the one from the closet. It's got like that vintage look, that see-through kind of like um, old school light bulb kind of vibe. And this one's got the coating and it doesn't look right, but I'm nervous that I'm not gonna be able to find a better bulb than, you know, one that functions a little bit better than this one without just going back and getting these again. And I know these don't work because they keep on going out. So I'm kind of like torn, but we're gonna see. That's why I'm going back to Menards just to see if maybe I overlooked something and if there's a better option than this. But to have an exposed bulb Bulb light fixture and then have like this coating on there that doesn't look right right you guys let me know what would you do but we're gonna go and see what they have <laughs> that's my workout playlist um these days I've been so comfortable in pants with pockets like I usually just walk around with like my little fanny pack kind of crossbody style and I have all my essentials in here that I need you know credit cards you know keys stuff like that but I can't fit my phone in this little thing and I also can't fit like my camera in there if I'm bringing my camera to vlog along or something like that so I've just realized that having like pants with pockets I can just put all that other stuff in my pockets and I just feel so free so hands-free I just love it and sweatpants have been my jam lately y'all it really has <laughs> and it's not even cold outside today but I am not wearing a coat some days you just like I don't care if it's cold I'm not wearing a coat like I'm about to be in and out the car I don't want to be bothered with a coat if you're from the Midwest and you can relate let me know but I'll be on that sometimes like eh, I just don't want to do it I don't want to be bothered I did that last night when we went to the Super Bowl party that we had gone to and I was like I'm not bringing a coat because we are going to be in the car pulling up getting out going right into someone's house never mind a coat you know um and speaking of the super bowl party we went to we had a great time i am so glad we got to go i was telling my friend like thank you so much for doing this like for having this adult moment for us you know because we don't get to get it okay it's it's rare so i was just you know real happy to be able to get out and socialize and socialize we did we had a really good time so shout out to my girl jeray for always hooking it up they had catered food and, and i loved usher's performance y'all we were clowning up in there like i freaking love it y'all may or may not know that i went um to paris uh, a few months ago a couple months ago with my sisters and we went to see usher perform and it was just so amazing we had went for Mumu's birthday and I just didn't want to vlog. <laughs> I could have, you know, but I just didn't want to. for wattage for that small room though. 1460 watt light bulbs, that might be too much. Probably needs to be 40 watts. Oh man, here's some 40 watts. 
Okay, that was mad simple. We're all done. Let's head home and see if this stuff works. Anybody else get a little bit stressed out going to the car wash? <laughs> Is it just me? Cause they be like, uh, a little to the left, a uh, uh, little to the right, uh, stop, go. Let me rinse off the back, uh, neutral. I be like, <laughs> my anxiety be showing up to the party. <laughs> get back home, I'm gonna check out these light bulbs in the kitchen real quick just to make sure. So I was successfully able to do my exchange and get the 60 watts of the one I wanted. And then for the closet upstairs, I ended up going with these. It was a four pack for, um, I think like $7.99 or something like that, but I'm able to get four bulbs for that price. So I'm gonna check it out. These are 40 watts. I didn't wanna go for the 60. Just seemed like it would be too bright for that small space with all of those bulbs, like 60 times 14, could you imagine? So I think the 40 will work out. The reason I even wanted to replace these was because at first we had like those flood light lights up here and uh, they were kind of big, you know, and they would like extend too far down past the cutoff of the light fixture itself. And so it was kind of looking like an eyesore. I was really not liking it. I'm like, there's gotta be a different solution. So I wanted to try the smaller bulbs. I just ended up getting the wrong wattage. But these 60 watts should work just fine. Okay. Um, that's a lot better. <laughs> and then I'll just have an extra one in case one goes out, so that'll work. Okay, that was a success. Let's go upstairs and see if these other ones work. Okay, so I can already tell this is about to be a rabbit hole because I'm looking at the bulbs, and I'm looking at the light fixture itself, and I'm like, I probably need to clean it too. It's a lot of dust on it. So and before I put the bulbs in, I'm just gonna wipe it down. I think I need a step ladder. or an ottoman. <laughs> trip to Greece and uh, she invited me. <laughs> Who all going? <laughs> See, I took the bulbs that were faded off and the light in here, the quality of the light in here has not really changed. That just goes to show you that those other bulbs weren't contributing anything. So the ones that are working, I'm gonna leave them up and then just, you know, just replace the ones that went out. That way I'll have extras left over. Hello. Hi, is this Ms. Uh, Copeland? Yes, hi. Hi, are you calling you about Annie? How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, uh, someone should be, either my, me or my husband should be there in the next, um, within 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.
Okay, that is much better. Now it's bright again in here and not a freaking clothing dungeon. <laughs> um, and I'm glad I was able to clean the light fixture off. Y'all, light fixtures are high maintenance, like especially intricate ones like this. Like you really gotta be cleaning them and dusting them and all that stuff. So I'm glad I got it clean. I'm glad this triggered me to clean it. Technically, I was able to repurpose four of the bulbs, so I do have this extra four pack, but I'm just gonna hold on to it because honestly, I know it's gonna come in handy. But yeah, really pretty light fixture just kind of high maintenance but i'm glad i got it dusted and y'all i gotta get out of here because uh, i'm gonna end up wanting to get in here and dust and clean it's like you know it's a rabbit hole so i gotta get out of here before that happens because i don't want to do that right now as you guys heard the nurse at Ann's school just called so we gotta go pick her up hopefully everything will be okay she did not seem sick this morning so you know sometimes the schools be you know a little bit more hypersensitive to different symptoms and stuff just because they have to be right it's other kids health at stake and stuff so i get it but i don't think she's sick i'm just i'm hoping not but she'll be home for the next couple days while we kind of monitor that and make sure everything is okay so yeah <laughs> anthony is about to go get her in the meantime i'm gonna have some lunch what am i having for lunch you ask well it's gonna be this leftover wancho's tacos queso burrito ramen okay <laughs> Y'all, I got put on to Queso Berea Ramen by Anthony's cousin Miles. He came over here one time, him and his girlfriend, eating it in the big bowl thing, and I'm like, what type of ramen is that? I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. It looks delicious. So I ate most of it. This is just what was left, so I'm gonna have this right now. Berea tacos are so good, and then to think of it in a ramen form is just like insane. The only thing I worry about with dishes like this is the sodium content, right? You know it's gonna be high with something like this, but we just gonna eat it. <laughs> and we gonna make better choices for next time. It's always tomorrow. <laughs> have some Berea ramen, folks. Okay, so, they give you way more meat than you would ever need. A little noodles with my Berea, please. So delicious, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. They make it rain with the cheese. They add the fresh chopped onions, the cilantro. So good. So listen, y'all, I'm going out of town this weekend. I'm actually gonna go visit Martina for the weekend. And I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't seen her since Anne's birthday. And we're gonna be working on some organizational stuff in her house. And this will be my first time actually going to her house, right? Her house where, that she has with her husband. I have not been to their house yet. And so her husband had a surgery done and she's just trying to use this time off work to get her house together, organize once and for all, get stuff thrown out. And I suggested we get some meal prepping done just to like help her over the next couple weeks as he is in his recovery phase and you know just make her life easier since she won't necessarily be having his help and stuff so I'm really looking forward to heading out there I don't know if I'll be vlogging because I don't think Martina wants y'all to see her um organizational projects and things but um I'm pretty sure she'll pop in and at least say hi I also plan on meeting up with my sis Kay y'all you know she lives in the DMV too and you know, maybe take a day for all of us to kind of meet up and do something together. But I'm definitely going to be going there to focus on the organizational projects and the cleaning. That's my focus. So I was even telling Martina, like, ain't no need me even checking no bag because I ain't bringing nothing but work clothes and work boots because we are getting down and dirty and we are gonna get this house together once and for all. Mm, mm, mm. This don't even make no sense how good this is. <laughs> Girl, what you doing? G get in here. Come on. She was sitting over there in the sun. 
Just sitting in the sun. Get over here. Hey, Sasha girl. Hey, girl. Don't put no slob on my pants, okay? <laughs> Good morning. It's another day of choppy vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> down in the kitchen with Ann. Went to the gym this morning, got in a good workout. We were doing like bear crawls and like bomber push-ups and that kind of thing. It was wearing me out, <laughs> but I felt really proud because I was able to get through everything and I didn't have to pause or take breaks. Even though it was difficult, I was able to get through it. I'm like, that's progress, that's progress. So I'm down here in the kitchen with the girls. And by girls, I mean Sansa girl. And Anne, she's home from school today, of course, because she had this fever yesterday. There was no fever, but whatever. She's staying home today and we're gonna be hanging out and everything else. And then she'll likely go back to school tomorrow. But because they detected a fever, they had to have her stay home for 24 hours. So I get it, it's better safe than sorry. Somebody's enjoying some tomato. <laughs> She requested the tomato, okay? She's just like her mommy because I love tomatoes. I have to have them on everything. <laughs> Blame my grandma, okay? She used to be serving up tomatoes and cucumbers from the garden and I just developed a love for it. So I got on my Trap Music Museum hoodie today. This is the one Anthony got for me. So I got two. I actually like the black on black one now and having two is really cool. Yeah. So today's a run day. So I'm about to hit in the basement and run on the treadmill for like 25 minutes. And then that's my morning. Kiss, kiss, do, do. The animal sound. <laughs> Good morning. Good. Yes, I am. I'm feeling pretty good. Hey, I had a pretty good therapy call. And um, now I'm just gonna put Ava down for a nap. She's wearing one of her little Amazon sleepers with her cute little headband. I love when she wears her headband. <laughs> quiet right now right Ava is taking a nap Anthony went to the gym Anne is content and chilling in her room and Sansa is patrolling um the Coquit compound right and I really don't have anything pressing to do right now like thinking about picking up a book catching up on a couple chapters and taking a nap that's what I'm thinking about doing right now this is so exciting because <laughs> I really don't have anything to do but technically right there's always something so in this moment I am about to start pulling out some outfits because I want to do like some very specific content um, but I want to film it tomorrow so I need to do the planning and strategizing today. Listen I have found that whenever I approach any kind of like creative project if I don't jump start it the day before and try to do everything that day it's not gonna go right. I mean I'll get it done but I'll be like stressed out and like worn out trying to do it all in a day so I do want to shoot some fashion stuff tomorrow because I'm just feeling, you know, organically motivated to do that. Here's what I'm trying to do. So I want to put together like some everyday looks 
um, for like looking polished when you are like running errands or like just like running around getting stuff done outside the house. I think it's super important. We see a lot of content with folks like putting together these really glamorous looks and you know, a lot of times we can't really put that into practice right away. We have to save it for a special occasion. But I kind of want to share like some put together fashionable looks when you're just like going to a friend's house or just going to lunch or just going to the grocery store and still want to look and feel your best. I'm kind of feeling motivated to put together some inspirational content around that because that's kind of where I am in my life right now. <laughs> Wanting to look cute and, you know, put together with very minimal effort, right? So I'm just going to pull some stuff. <music> Mommy's doing bad things. And little baby got on her angelic white. I got on my angelic white with my toes out, mommy. I got my toes out. <laughs> you love when I make that sound. Time for Ava to have something to eat. You ready to eat? Hey, hey, you guys. <laughs> Um, did I mention that today was Valentine's Day? I think I forgot to mention that. But anywho, um, I got everything done today that I wanted to get done. So that's good. But we're on our way now to go eat dinner. Anthony made reservations for us at a restaurant that we love to eat at. <laughs> so we're going to go eat. And I need to get out of here, y'all. I feel like I've been holding y'all hostage. Like, I need to get out of here. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll talk to y'all in my next vlog. So come back on Sunday. Um, oh, also before I go, just letting you guys know, I just filmed a video that's going to be going live midweek. So after you guys watch this one, stay tuned for a midweek video. I'm gonna upload it on Wednesday. Um, so come back on Wednesday and watch it, y'all. We are reviving the favorites videos. I know a lot of you guys like my favorites videos, so we're bringing those back. I got some stuff I wanna share and I wanna have it all centralized in one place because sometimes I talk about stuff I like throughout different videos and it's hard to like pinpoint and then if you need to go back and reference, start to find the video or whatever. So I want to start putting it back in the centralized location of the favorites videos. So that'll be going live on Wednesday. So I will see you guys then. Love you guys so much. Bye.